Good morning. I'm excited to be here. This is a big deal for me. So I'm excited to present to you Bohemian Brews Brewery and Grill. For those of you that know me, I enjoy beer. Just a little bit. Matter of fact, I put it right on my, my arm just so people don't forget. Bohemian Brews, where did the name come from? Well, I have to give credit to my brother. Uh, about two years ago when I was really thinking about doing this, he says, you know, I, I'll, I'll help you with a name. Ten minutes later, that quick walks up and he goes, Bohemian Brews. We're Bohemian. He goes, we're dumber than Pollocks. It should work. So anyway, that's kind of where the name came. So got to give my brother credit for that. So a little bit about what I want to accomplish and what I'd like to bring to the Ocala area. I think we're missing something here in Ocala. I'm from Asheville, Hendersonville, North Carolina, and there's a brewery on every corner. Uh, we do have a brewery here now. The difference is, is a brewery and a restaurant make a big difference when they're together. When I, when I like to enjoy a beer, I gotta have something to eat. And I tell you, I go to Asheville, my nephews and I will brewery hop, we'll eat, we'll brewery hop, and we'll eat, and it's just a fantastic experience. And truthfully, I'm tired of my nephew or my brother sending me pictures of them enjoying this up in Asheville. So why not bring that here? Because at this point, you're going to have to drive to Orlando, Tampa, Jacksonville, or even Gainesville to get that full-fledged brewery experience. So again, like I said, I'd like to bring Asheville here instead of having to drive 500 miles to enjoy what I love. And the feedback I've gotten from everybody, people are ready for this. So can Ocala support a concept like this? I've done some research, and I've heard some statistics of some other of the breweries that are looking at opening. And some of them are fairly small, one- and three-barrel systems. Uh, and they kind of talked about a brewery being able to support by a population of 100,000 people. I kind of challenged that a little bit. So I did some research. Marion County has 354,000 roughly population. Uh, Buncombe County, Asheville, which is North Carolina, has a population of 250,000. And they have 36 breweries just downtown in the city limits. Okay, so that's statistics gone. It's about creating a destination. Where do you want to go and where can you enjoy what you would like to enjoy? Well, that's what I'd like to bring. What makes this different? Of course, the full brewery experience with a full restaurant and grill on site. Food has to be spot on. Beer could be great, but if you don't complement it with the right food, I'm working with some consultants out of Orlando to help me develop the menu when that time comes. 40 plus taps, beers, ciders, and meads. I gotta cater to the gluten-free people. I'm gonna have a wide variety of beers out there. Eventually, I'm gonna get into the meads because it's a little bit of a different market. Outdoor beer garden. This is Florida, we like to be outside. You get off work at six o'clock, I wanna provide you a place that you can relax, enjoy your beverage, or your coffee, whatever. You don't have to come for the beer because I'm gonna have enough food for maybe something for you to snack on. A live music area. I've got a concept where it can come inside and out depending on weather and if we wanna close off one venue to another. Activities, tournaments, cornhole, ping pong, trivia, whatever it takes that you wanna see happen and have fun activities to create a little competition, we're gonna facilitate that. Kid zone, this is important to me. I've got six kids, and we go to brewery hopping all the time, and I'm going to tell you there's breweries I tell my children we're going to, and they're like, yeah. Then i got breweries I tell my kids we're going to, and they're like, oh, Dad, really? And it's really about the experience for them, because they can dictate how long I stay there. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I want a kid zone. I want a place for them to play life size Jenga, let them do things. I've seen this concept all over North Carolina, and it works. The brewery is family friendly. This is not a bar. I want to make that clear. This is a family-friendly destination. Uh, the other concept I have is a kid's sodas bar. Up in North Carolina, they got a $5 wristband. Put that on the kid, you pay five bucks, and he's got an unlimited soda bar. And I'm talking old-fashioned sarsaparillas and fun stuff for the kids, but it helps them feel engaged. So in $5, people say that's kind of expensive. Go to a brewery and order a bottled soda for your kid. It's $4. So $5 for all they can drink is a pretty good deal. We're going to offer brewery tours. Home brewing classes. I want people to learn what I've learned. I'm not afraid of competition. I embrace it. You know, but if I can teach you what I've learned and what I enjoy, more the merrier. I'm going to have classes. We're going to create uh, an area for supplies to get you what you need if you want to home brew. And I'm also going to have a se separate section for private parties uh, where you can have 50 or, or plus people to be able to you know, do wedding receptions, business planning, and so on and so forth. Support for smaller breweries. I'm going with 
a 15 barrel and a three barrel system to start. Some people say, wow, that's pretty good size system and audacious. It is, Ocala is ready. But also my goal is as these smaller breweries pop up and they can't meet their demand for product, maybe they've got a special event, I have the facilities to be able to brew for them in bulk. Um, merchandise area, of course, shirts, hats, stickers. I'll kind of share this concept with you. Fresh off the press this morning, some cool gear and swag for people to go home with, and of course, plenty of beer. What I'm gonna show you next is some concept pictures. This is kind of what I see for an outdoor beer garden. I have been to several of these. An outdoor, enjoyable experience. Could you see yourself here is what I ask you after work in an evening. Interior concepts. I want industrial rustic. It doesn't have to be super fancy. A lot of these breweries, they keep it simple, but you still walk in and you get that wow factor. So I'm going to sum it up real quick. Oh, I'd love to see this going downtown Ocala. <laughs> sum it up real quick. Be a premier destination downtown to offer a full variety of beers and ciders, evolve with the beer market and the demand, provide excellent food, teach locals how to brew their own beer, and to distribute. This is my last goal, I'll tell you. To distribute's where I want to be. In five years, I would like to be sitting in Asheville, North Carolina, and see my beer on tap. That is my mission. I have a lot to go to earn it, but I'll get there. Thank you.